front. And Maggie behind. Okay, so this time we're going to make our table for two uh, Intrigue Nook. Oh, this is such a beautiful So, um, of course, having the brain the size of a pea means I've left all our samples at home, but hey, hey ho, I will attempt to put a steel in. A steel in. But that's <laughs> made me feel better, because who forgot the samples before on TV? Me. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to be putting a bit together. So I'm going to do the chair first. I'll do some chairs first, okay? So they're already tabbed in, so I have untabbed them to make life quicker. With my tape. And... So they should come out, fall out, untab it, yep. Okay, so that's the table, and it's a tabletop, whoops, it's tabletop on here. And it's a bit of the window, and that's a chair, so you get two chairs. Yep, they're coming out, that's it, and those are the two backs of the chairs. But I didn't actually, no, I didn't actually do that bit. I think I've got size of a pea, uh, brain size of a pea today. Right. Less than a pea. Yes. Right, so I've now taken those out, so they'll fall out. And in one of the other pieces is a seat. So if I could just find the seat. That's it. In this piece, that's a seat for a chair. And there will be two of those somewhere in the kit. So that's the chair. So you've got chair back, chair seats, two chair ends, and two backs. Okay, so we're going to put those together. So I'm going to use my lovely laser cut kit glue. So I'll take that, take the pin out. Brilliant glue, isn't it? It is for little fiddly things like this. So I take that out. So I tend to wash it and put my little pluggy back in when I've finished using it. And then I just put that and it just sort of twists into place. It's actually like called that. a lure lock mechanism. Oh well there you go, who, who knew? <laughs> <laughs> so I put a little drop, a little bit of glue there and it comes, it's quite a thin glue. <laughs> okay, we're, we're back in the room now. I do apologise about that. Maggie said turn your phone off and I said oh I never get phone calls. Oops. Actually as it happens it was important so that was good. <laughs> it was. <laughs> right so I'll put some glue on here and here oh. and put that down and then I'm going to put glue on these pieces of the seat. And I'm going to fit it in that way. Now it fits in, so it's flush either side like that. I'll just take a bit of glue out. Okay, if you do it the other way round, it'll come over to the. Uh, it won't fit properly, and you'll see it'll just come over the um, the legs to come over. So and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the backs. So I'll put a little bit of glue there and there. Oops, and I'll do the same on the other side. To try and keep keep your hands out, out of the way so you can see what's going on. Okay, and I'm going to put you one in, oops, one okay. back in, one in here. She just spit out for something. I think she's got a cramp. And then one in here like that. Okay, so that is one half of your chair. And then the other piece, just put a little bit of glue on there, there, and there, and then put that over the top. And that is your chair done. So it seemed more, more complicated than it actually is. It is a bit on the fiddly side, but it isn't that complicated. So it's a, not making a complete mess of it again. There we go. Okay, so just make sure all your little joints are squidged in properly. And I wouldn't pull it around too much, and I'll just leave it for it to set. Just make sure the chair is in. Like so. Okay, and that's your chair. And then we'll just leave that to set. Now, this one. I covered using an upholstery tape. I did, I did try to get this done on, who, uh, on the craft store. I'm hoping you got most of it. But anyway, I'll go through it. I'll run through it again. And I've done it with paper. You can make little cushions, but my sewing is so bad that I prefer to use the paper. So I've made little padded um, cushion seats for them. So what I've done is use an old technique. This is a spare different pieces of paper. I use, I'm using the ones I used before. But this is um, a piece of um, Graphic 45, and it's a nice, obviously it's a lovely card, but it's quite very, very stiff. So to unstiffen it, I can find the right piece, is you put glycerin on it. And it's a technique that's as old as the hills. It's a very old technique. There's a bit of glycerin, I'll put it in a pot. Um, once upon a time, I used to put it on craft paper, 
and then you used to have like a faux leather effect. So if you put glycerin, just rub glycerin on on both sides. I'll put a bit on the other side. And I'll just use that piece just to show you how it works. Oops. That's my beautiful graphic 45 paper. Yes, I've just torn. Just torn. Just torn. <laughs> I'll just come back in now. Just, <laughs> just, just, just at that point. <laughs> okay, so you just rub it in and then squidge. So you're just gently breaking the fibres in and working that glycerin into your papers. Okay, and it's glycerin, so it will take a little while to dry, but you just squidge it in and get it all squidged up. Then you bring it out and then squidge it in again. Okay, and then what you end up with is quite a pliable fabric-like paper. Okay, it will still tear like paper, but it, it, it feels like fabric and it gives it a completely different texture. Okay, so some I've done earlier. I'll, I'll let it dry for a little while. So this is one I did earlier. So I'm going to do it on a, one of these, and I haven't painted it because I'm only going to show you the technique. But this one I used to, I used our um, gold pen on here just to colour it in. But you can use anything, anything like acrylic paint works. Um, Posca pens will work quite well on it. It's so very just effective. It in it. So anyway, so what I did here. So you obviously want some padding. So these are makeup remover little pads that you can buy, which obviously I don't wear. The time I wear makeup is on TV, and just make just cut one to fit. So it needs to take a bit more off. And I'll just take the corners off that and that, and that should fit in like that. So that gives it nice, so it's like nice and padded on there. And then I'm going to be using, uh, actually before I do that, I'll cut out my paper. Okay, so you want it slightly bigger than your seat, because you're going to go all the way across and you've got the padding as well. So you can always cut some off. So let's so, so measure that out. So just cut that across. And cut a bit off there. Okay, and then you need to make sure that you've got a lot of space for the back. So I tend to, I've got a pencil somewhere. So if I just squidge it like that, then I know if I cut a little line there and a bit inside, again on that line and cut on the inside. And I don't have to cut it out, I just need to fold it back. Right, when you've folded it back, just hold it for a minute and I'll zoom in so people can see what you mean. Yeah, hold on. Right, so you've got that. Hold on. Okay, is it zoomed in? No, because I'm just being inept. Because well, you're too lazy to stand up and do that. Yes, I am. <laughs> it's Friday afternoon. That's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out again now while I, oh. Yeah. Okay, so if it so you just trim it in and make sure it fits in like so, which it does. Okay. And then because I've because I've folded it back, I can just bring that out a tad more. Because it's a little bit low. There you go. So then it fits in nicely. So if you don't cut it and you just fold it, then you've got an option to bring it back out again. Okay? So that's going to fit in over like that. So that's your, your fabric or paper. So that just makes you fold those folded over. Okay, and then I'm going to put some tape round. So I'm using our sticky, sticky paws sticky pro paws. tape. I am still using our sticky paws pro tape. Now it is terrible, but I'm going to cut it because I want it a bit more precise when I get around to this bit. So I'm going to put some at the round the sides here not too far down, around the front, and around the back, all around this side, and then I'm just going to cut it so it's flush along here, but inside the back, so it's like that, and then I'm going to put a little bit on the back, mm -hmm. I'm sticking that on, and that piece goes on. Like that. Okay, so that goes all the way around. So it's all sticking up. Yeah, it's all sticking up the top of the. Yeah, it's all sticking up. So you, so you got it part way on the stick on the on yeah. there. Okay, and then I'm just going to make a cut on the, each of those corners at the front like that. Okay, and then I'm going to piss peel this off. So I'll just peel this off. Oops, finger underneath. That's it. 
Peel that round and peel that off. And then just, just gently just bring that in so that's all sticky. And if you don't want it to stick to your finger, use your multi-purpose tool. You can do indeed, but I'm using, yes, I should be using that, shouldn't I, really? But I'm, I'm not saying this. anything. <laughs> she, but she did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, so... Let's peel that off. I've got, I've got some, I've got some on, me, um, on the go, just by the side of me. There we go. Right, okay, so you've got that. So it's now sticky all around the side. So this is, you know, you've got to be careful because you only get one go at this. And you just put this in like so, and then squidge that down so that keeps that in place. And then you're going to put your cover over the top. Who's coming? Sam. Oh, hi Sam. <laughs> so that comes across and then you just push this down and stick it over like that. Now this one here, you, ju you can nice. just trim it on that side and use your tool just to position it into place. So you can squidge it on like that. So because the, fabric, uh, the paper is, is more like fabric now, it's easy to manipulate. So you just snip and bring that down. Okay, and then you've got these corners that you need to deal with. You just take, just, just corner them at, at, at an angle and just fold them in. Okay. So do you want to turn that off and have a chat? Mm -mm. <laughs> no, it's all right. He's lost his teeth. <laughs> what, is the splint? Yeah, Ooh, the cleaning it? thing, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Right, so basically all you need to do now is neaten this up, so... I was probably a bit more prepared, I would have done that earlier, but it's just to, take, just to just neaten this up. Okay, so it looks a bit on the scruffy side at the moment, but you're going to cover those in a sec. Right, so I'm just going to lift that up there. So, see where the glue had, where, where, the, where it's not sticky, so you can just pull it back and just give it a trim. So, a sharp pair of scissors is helpful. And my nice little sharp pairs are when they're warm, so we'll be using these ones. But they are sharp, but they're not as pointy as the ones. Excuse me. And I'll do the back. Same again. And then, what you can do then is, so because this is, looks a bit rough, is you just cover it with a piece of um, paper. So I've got a contrasting paper, and I've cut that quite thin. Now you can, it's a bit slightly thicker, you could use our... Um, uh, perfect strips. It's a bit on the thick side. Even the, the quarter, uh, the, the eighth of an inch one is probably a little bit on the thick side for it. So I've used this on the glint, uh, on my guillotine, but it's still because I've used it on the guillotine, it's fair. It looks it is fairly straight, but it isn't. It's slightly higher, uh, bigger that end, and it is that end. Mm -hmm. So if, uh, this uh, this um, uh, width, it's probably not going to notice you too could much. Could use our thinnest faux grain strip, but I think that's three mils wide. Yeah, Which I think it's still a bit too wide. It is a bit too wide for this in particular. So I say a trimmer probably wouldn't even do it. So you put just, so I've done it on double sided tape. So I put some marble pro tape on first before I cut this. Oh, you could use our teeny tiny faux brads for the, oh, the, yes. the heads and emboss them. And yes. so you've got like little yeah, studs that's, going yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. And Take then, a long time. But. Yeah, and then just tie, to tidy this up and just. Obviously, it's not, it's not as tight as it could be, but hey ho. So we just tidy that up, and you can just trim it back as you need to. Okay, so you need to just, just to cut that off there. Yeah, so you could have um, like proper upholstery. Uh, yeah, uh, little studs. <sighs> upholstery pins, isn't it? Yes. Is it long? So you just trim that back, and then put a little bit on the back, and then that's your chair done. But obviously, you can do it a bit neater than I have. Well, it makes a big difference. So. It does cover up a raggedy edge if you've got one. That's it, and then and obviously you'll just burnish everything into place. I'm pleased to hear that. Because that's what you do. <laughs> that's a bit pathetic. <laughs> so, so, so I'm going to lift that up actually. It's just a bit so. But anyway, that's a general idea. Okay, so that's your posted little chair. This one I had a bit more time to do, so I did that one a bit nicer. That's really nice. Okay, so that is your chair done. Okay, so we're now going on to put on our, do the window. 
to the window next. So the window has six pieces plus the um, acrylic little uh, window panes, but I'll show you those in a second. So you've got two pieces that look the same, but one with a hole. The one with the hole is where your light fits, and that goes on the top, and that's on the bottom. And then you've got your four panes, and this is very similar to the Tudor nook that we have. So it's, it's, a, it's the same principle again. If you notice, these lower ones are slightly bigger than, or longer than the uh, upper ones, because that's like how windows work apparently. So that's what it, it looks better. So that's what we've done. So to stick them together, it's easy peasy. I'll use, I'm using this glue. So I just, I, all I do is I do a bead of glue across here. It's such, so good that glue with the application uh, as well, isn't it? In there, and you put, make sure you've got the, uh, the bigger bit of the pane at the bottom. And just, just run, and you just basically put them into the little slots. It's. I've tried to make a. It looks like it's a complicated thing because it's a bay window, but it is extremely easy to put together. So I'm making a complete meal of it. That's it. Goes into that hole. And that make sure Even that's a long I one. Even I managed without instructions as well. Well, there you go. See, that's praise indeed that it can be done. <laughs> okay, so that is your first half. And then basically you just put the top on. So if I just put the glue on these bits here, and you just put the top bit on and leave it to set. So that fits in like that. So you just put those in and they just fit in like so. And just lock into place. And they just lock into they? place. And that is your window. Okay, so you just leave that to set for a little while. And then you put it into your side that sits like that. If I get it right way around. And would you did put... I, did I, did I got that right way around? Anyway. Yeah. Would you put that That's in, right. Kay? Uh, yeah, you've got it. Yeah, that is... No, you've got it upside down. <laughs> I think I stuck it in the wrong way around because yeah. I did it at the end of the show. Yeah, you need, you need the straight, <laughs> so straight, straight bit at the top where the light goes in. So, so anyway, it sticks in like that. Well, what I do, I'll do the one properly in a minute. And I'll, but, I'll do that as it sticks. Would you... I was just going to ask you a question, Kay. Yeah. Would you... The inside bit, if you're going to do wallpaper, don't put the wallpaper on until you've put the window frame in because otherwise you have you might have gaps yes that's what Mary Ann and I found yes so in this case because it is it is a square so it should be quite easy to cut cut it round yeah but can you see there, there is a gap there so if you don't you can just fill that piece up if you want to mm. and if you've got wallpaper then it will just it will just fit onto that piece um, if you're painting your window frames I would probably do it either at this stage before you do anything else or before you put it in but making sure you don't have too much so it's, it fits in there mm. so it is easier to do the paints afterwards but at this stage actually you can put it in here and it'll dry quite easily so you can do it at this stage <coughs> so um although this is wrong i think but hey ho but they'll do the window frames and you get four of these little little panes so they peel off so they're nice and clear so what i did was is i'll just do one for you and you'll just see how it works so I just put in across here so just run my glue around so that's why this glue is brilliant for that okay and it and dries then, clear doesn't it okay i haven't peeled i've just started this off but i haven't actually finished peeling it off and then it just fits in and it just slots in like so and it also dries clear so that hopefully will be that so you do all four and then what you can do then because you've got this on you just put that tape over the whole lot till it's dry and when it's dry you can peel this off and it will stay put and that means you don't get any fingerprints all over it okay so that's how I do that but I'll show you how to put that in in a sec if you do get fingerprints now. over it you can use um, surgical spirit on a bit of cotton yeah. wool that just takes them yes off. yeah or vinegar even if yeah. you can sand smell but surgical spirit smells nicer okay so what we're going to do next is we're going to do our uh, pantry so your pantry has lots of bits on it's on this, this side so that's the top that's the front and you want to make sure that you've got these pieces facing you and to your left or right i'm left i've no idea that's, left? I'm, that's, that's my left that's hand left. so whatever, whatever side that is okay so what you can do when you win when when you're decorating this one is i did it um by putting my wallpaper on and i painted behind it 
so it looked like two separate bits or you could have paint paper the whole lot but you just want to make sure that you keep these um, holes clear or these slots clear so if I just put this together so it fits in you've got two two sides that fit in like that so if it fits in fits in like that and you get a series of drawers uh, uh, um, shelves and drawers so you've got your two little, little ones go at the top and then you've got two sizes so you've got two deeper ones and two slightly more shallow ones so the first deeper one goes at the top so that's like your counter and then your two smaller one go one goes in here which supports your drawer and that supports your drawer uh, your your doors and then the other big one goes at the bottom like that okay and then you'll have your doors fit in like so they fit like that and just glue them in or you can glue them at an angle or you can put a hinge on them if you want to okay and then this supports the drawer fronts and they fit in like that okay so what you can do what you can do you can put this together and then you can know if you want to paint behind so just mark it with a pencil it's one not very sharp pencil I have got, I've got a sharp pencil but you just make a light mine there so you know that your paint needs to be just inside there like that and down on these sides. So you, so if you paint here, it looks like it's a separate unit yeah. if you want to, or put a piece of paper on there. But just obviously make sure these are clear when you're going to put them together. So basically I'll just I'll stick these together now. Take long. I'll just sand the little um, edges before you... Yeah, so you want, yeah, you can, yeah sand, sand those in. It depends on what, if you want to um, stain them, so you don't, they can be wood yeah. effect. Uh, you can paint them, all sorts of colours. Again, same paints you would do on the chairs is fine. So it's a bit, little bit of glue there, just a little bit of glue down here. Same on the other side. You like putting these things together, don't you, Ken? Yeah, it's, it's, I, I like the construction side of it. Mm. Yeah. So put those together like that. Poor Kay, we have lots of ideas for her and then she has to convert it into a... <laughs> to something that you can actually into use. Into working. Yes. working kit. Yes, uh, there was a conversation on, on um, WhatsApp the other day, you know, was, well, I took a no down in a dark room. <laughs> no, you, t you said you had a large gin and tonic. <laughs> no, and did, then I'd lay down in, in a dark room. room. <laughs> After a large gin and tonic, that's what I'd have to do. <laughs> so that fits in like that. So you've got glue on the, uh, on, on the ends, but you'll put those together in a sec. So, so you obviously want the bigger shelf on that side. That fits in like that. When you've stuck all the bits down, can you just turn it round so we can have a look? Yeah. It just shows a different dimension. Yeah, the other way round. So, oops, I'll just put, this, I'll put the narrow ones in first. Can you see what I'm doing from... Yeah, we can see, we can see clearly. So yeah, right, I am paying attention. <laughs> she's not quite asleep yet, nearly. It's a long day. It has been a long day, hasn't it? Mm. It'll be long for some of us, because some of us have been doing video editing. <laughs> That's a bigger one, so that goes at the bottom. Yeah, it takes forever. I know, I know it doesn't appear that these can get edited. But <laughs> they are but edited. <laughs> uh, believe me, they're much better than them. <laughs> I think we've got better. A bit. Right, a little bit better. Anyway, mm. so that is in Brilliant. like that. So I'll just wave that around. Can you see that? Yeah, that's perfect. We can see the see how the um, shelves, the top shelf and the yeah. bottom shelf. So you want the two, two bigger ones at the top and bottom and the yeah. two other ones in the middle. And then you can put your doors on. So I'm just going to just put my doors on flat. Because it's easier. Yeah, it is easier. So I just put a bit of glue there. And then put my drawers in there. So the top shelf supports the drawers. And, then, and obviously you've got your little knobbly bits there. It's been... So you could punch that through if you wanted to but you can put um, uh, a be bead of um, glossy accents or um, a pearl drop or something on there. Or a teeny tiny brad. Or, te or a teeny tiny faux brad no less. Mm. Oh yes you, you could. Yeah, yeah or, or a titchy witchy um, what is it? Uh, um, wooden button would be cool. Uh, but oh, a bead yes. would be cool. Yeah. You've got even a smaller one to go on the top. Then the beans so that is that's your. lovely. Okay, so that's yeah. your little um, cabinet. So you can put your little, little things, little treasures on there. Watch this space. <gasps> shouldn't have said no, anything. No, you shouldn't have said anything Oops. at all. Okay. 
Right, so where are we? Back to back to the. I like to keep people interested, Carrie. Okay, well, I this. Right, so this one is your window again. The bigger bit goes at the bottom, and then we've also got um, some acrylic. So for your window pane, so I would put that. So you need to take that off altogether, and I and I sandwich it between the two. And then, if you want to, you can put um, a, a photograph of your or your garden or a po postcard or a picture that you've got from a magazine on the back as your um, your view out of your window. And you can do the same on the other, on the other one as well. So that fits on whoops, like that. Okay. Okay, that will squidge down in a sec. And then just put that on top. Obviously, I'll paint this frame first, normally. But this is showing you how to put it together. And the deeper paint's at the bottom, isn't it? Yes, it's always at the bottom, because it's, that's basically how things work. So you can put a little bit of tape, just to keep it in place. Just put it down. Okay, just while it's, just while it's setting. I'll come back to that in a minute. Okay, so that is your, that one side done. Lovely. Okay, so, so your, um, your window frame, so make sure I get this right. Right, fits in like that. <laughs> you have the straight edge at the top. Okay, so this this bit here goes here. This bit, yeah, that's it. That, yeah, that goes like that. And then this piece fits in like that. Okay, so I now know that goes in front and that needs to be at the top, like that. So if, you, if all else fails, do that, and then you won't get, you go far wrong. And all you do is basically just glue this in. Okay, so make sure I don't turn it around the wrong way. And just glue that on there. Put a little bit of glue on, it's just on the edge. You might just catch it from the edge. And then that just fits in, and it's oops, as, sim as simple as that. But it's so neat. Okay, and it, as simple as that. So, if you wanted to have that, because that's your inside of your of, of your nook, really lot of thing. So, if you want to, you can put a picture around the outside. So, I did on mine. I did, Marianne decorated hers, and she left it clear, which looked fab. Um, and then I've, I did it with um, a photograph. You actually curled so, it around the yeah, window, which, I, yeah. which did actually work well. Yeah. So I curved. I just curled it around the window, and I secured it on each side here, and then I put black card on the back of it just to make sure. And then obviously cut it out so you can have to put the light in. So the light just fits in there, like that. Okay, so we can put, start putting things together. So those two, those two pieces are together. I'll just put the table together, which is really simple. So tabletop and legs. And so obviously you put your little the bits with the tab bits on top. And just, they just fit in like so. And that one fits in like that. Put a bit, a bit of glue on the top of way. Like there, and like there. Put glue on. So they just, it just simply does that. So what you can do, just to make sure that they stay upright, is use a bit of the Tiger Tape to keep them in place. So just get, get them, screw them around as you want, so they're nice and straight and upright. And I squidge that down, and then I will stay in position while they set. It's squidge a technical term. It's, a, it's a definitely a technical term. <laughs> there you go. So you got, so you're, cool. that's an upside down table. Okay, and then we're going to start putting this together. So I'm hoping that that should be fine. Okay, so you've got your bottom or your your floor. So it's already got a panel on it, um, looking a bit like parquet floor. So this is going to fit in like that and then that fits in other way like, yeah what do you mean other way no, if it's no you want that you want this bit poking oh, yeah, I, do. So I, did, I did it wrong <laughs> <laughs> what is that way? i just i put it in wrong oh for goodness sake right, okay. just needs to go that side oh, for goodness sake right okay <laughs> You know, if I had a half, a, uh, uh, yeah, it's Friday afternoon. It's isn't Friday it? it's afternoon. After Friday afternoon, so I have got enough glue on there just to stick it in. Oh, for goodness sake! Right, okay, right. Back to back, back in the real world. <laughs> right, that is. But it just stay. shows that 
We all do it. Oh, for goodness sake. I'd have designed it. You thought I would have known better, wouldn't you? Okay, so I probably would use um, the speed bond on here, actually, opposed to the smaller <coughs> uh, laser cut glue. A bit more strength. Yes. And it's, it's a quicker block bond. So, so put a bit of tape on here. And that side. So these little lugs here fit into the bottom here, but you don't necessarily have to glue those in, I don't think. Because everything else will be. So I'll just do those on side. Okay. I'll just tend to do the recesses and then it just fits in. And then. Is it looking at it? Looking at it. Right, well. You end up having a phobia about it. I am. I am. I'm I am. No, I'm not. It's going to work. Of course it will work. Right, okay. So we're going to put this on there because it, it did fit a minute ago. It does it. fit, it fits perfectly. Okay, so what you can do is you can put a little bit of tape underneath and just to hold it in place. Okay, so you just put a little bit of tape on there just to hold it in place. And then this one will fit. It will. Like perfectly. That. There we go, it fits in like that. So that fits in that corner. So just make sure that's... Who knew? Like that, and again, I can put a little bit of tape again just to while it's setting. Is like that, and then that is your little look. So you've got your table, that's it, that's, that's everything, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's perfect. Okay. So you've got your top table in there, and then you bring your chairs back in, and then you've got lots of fun doing lots of little cups and plates and bowls and flower things and anything else you want to do. So that is how to put it together. So it is quite simple and believe it or not, it's easier than I made it look. <laughs> and you can hold everything in place afterwards, all the movable bits. Yeah. With little, you really don't need very much, literally yeah. a smidge of tacky wax. Yeah, tacky wax. It's really good. So have I got anything in the bottom You've got this? some on there, probably enough actually. Yeah, I've got, I've got a little, tiny little bit left on here. So I'll just squidge it in my hand just to warm it up a bit on each side. And then I'll put that in. So I've only got it on one side of the chair, so I just squidge it down, oops, and that's... Well, what happens if you take the table, the other table and chair out and tip it upside down? And that's only on one corner, it's only on one leg. Yeah, that's so how that's, strong it is, so, so it's brilliant. Yeah, for, um, and it's reusable as well, you can stick it yeah. in the pot again. So that's the tacky wax, which again is on the website. Okay, thank you for watching. Brilliant.